What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the new 2025 Legion Pro 7i. We're looking at the Intel Core Ultra 9 up to the 275HX. There will be some variants with lower end CPU specs and GPU specs, but you can get up to a RTX 5090 in here as well. So we're talking near peak, near the very, very best that you can possibly get. Now, currently they had no information for me about any fire range AMD based CPUs but obviously uh, that oftentimes comes down later on down the line with Lenovo. So uh, we're looking at uh, an OLED 500 nit panel, 240 hertz QHD plus resolution, um, no Windows Hello. This is per key RGB lighting, but right now Windows Dynamic Lighting plus the NVIDIA demo is preventing them from enabling it. So this should be a multicolor RGB bar on the back. We've got a multi color RGB Legion logo on the back as well. I think that the back does look really clean overall. I mean, in my opinion, it looks pretty dang clean, but some other people, there's a lot of kind of hate going on the Legion Pro 7i right now. I don't really know why. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, maybe it's just because it maybe looks a little bit more subdued than the previous version, the 2024 version. I don't know. Uh, this is a Mylar tra trackpad. Uh, we are looking, I think the display is probably one of the biggest upgrades because the OLED panel looks awesome. Uh, power adapter port, HDMI 2.1, Thunderbolt 4, a USB-C, and a type A port. No ports on the back at all this time. And then on the right side, we're looking at an ethernet port facing down, our webcam shutter, two type A's, and a headset port on the right side. Um, and we got, of course, perky RGB lighting on this keyboard. So the keyboard is, I think Lenovo makes some of the best keyboards on the market uh, and it looks, feels really, really good. Um, now, performance wise, Lenovo is claiming 250 watts of continuous throughput. I believe that is without custom mode. So you throw custom mode in there, you probably can exceed 250 total watts of system load. Um, we do have the power brick right here. You can see it's quite large, uh, very similar to last year's, but it's, it's still a very big power brick. Um, keep in mind that these specs and information is not final, but we should have this available in March 2025 for the Legion Pro 7i. And I think overall, um, most likely pre-orders will be in mid-February for most manufacturers. I don't know what Lenovo's pre-orders are, but that's what I would guess. If you need to know pre-order timing and what laptops are available for pre-order, be sure to check my laptop list linked in the description down below. All of the latest and greatest information about what new laptops came out, where you can buy them, where you can find more information, all in that list. So let's take a detailed look at the chassis now itself and a little bit more up close information, do a flex test, hinge test, stuff like that. So starting in the right side, we're looking pretty dang firm, a little bit of flex here. Keep in mind, this is a pre-production unit, so maybe not firm as the final unit will be. Trackpad, I feel like is a little smaller. Like I feel like it, it could be extended out to be a little bit bigger, but it's still a decent size. Um, keyboard feel, it feels just like previous Lenovo keyboards. Uh, nothing special or different there. Um, hinge, honestly the hinge feels looser than previous Legion Pro 7i's. Opening it with one finger is no problem though. Um, I think the back honestly is probably the most controversial aspect of this laptop. <laughs> Some people just absolutely hate this rear butt end of the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. I think it looks pretty good though. And especially if we can see what it looks like with full RGB across it, it might change my mind one way or the other, but I think it's terrible people seem to be thinking. I don't know. We're saying we have Gen 5 SSD support in here, one Gen 4, one Gen 5, and there should be some active cooling for the Gen 5 SSD. Um, is it a vapor chamber? Yes. They are looking at a vapor chamber that utilizes uh, like combining the airflow going in towards the laptop. Uh, and we have a triple fan, like a third fan, dedicated to cooling that Gen 5 SSD. So, uh, I mean, I think the Legion Pro 7i could be a really phenomenal laptop for 2025. We'll need to see what the specs, pricing, and all of that comes out. But the big thing is, it's got a great, great display. It should have excellent build quality, um, and it should be offering some of the top of the line specs. I really hope they do offer a fire range version, the Allegiant Pro 7 version, 
of this at some point in the future, um, simply because I think that the, uh, the Fire Range is likely to be the best gaming CPU for 2025, or the Intel Core Ultra 9 285HX. We don't know yet, but I love to see consumers have options. So I'm, I'm pushing all manufacturers to offer the, uh, the full specs on uh, top of the line on both AMD and Intel in their flagship laptops if possible. Uh, so that's the Legion Pro 7i. We've got, um, that's pretty much, I think, the main gaming laptop for Lenovo this year, but I'm gonna see if I can get any other information on other models as well. So, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out all the other CES content from Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, um, and the Legion Go, a bunch of handheld stuff. Links are in the description, um, and also on the main channel if you wanna go check it out. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.